Are you ready for the new deck coming in the August selection pack? In the August selection pack, which is coming out August 8th. Not only is this deck coming out, but we also have two other good decks coming out. All three decks I'm unveiling for the August pack. I like all of them, and a lot of you like them. A lot of you have been pestering me for them every single leak. I want this, I want that, I want that. Are you ready? The first deck that's coming in the August pack is... There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier is coming in the August pack. Ain't no way. Are you ready to see what the heck they do? Let's see what they do. Now, the TCG, they have Totally Awesome. We don't have Totally Awesome. So we have, uh, you know, some other plays, though. So we're going to be using the Revealer of the Ice Barrier to discard a card to special summon an Ice Barrier from the hand, from the deck, that is. So let's do it. Summon her, discard, and if you have her in the graveyard, she could pay the cost of discarding instead of discarding from the hand instead. So that's very good. She works with herself. And we're gonna summon from the deck a little frog looking thing. So this will be able to send from the deck to the graveyard like a swamp frog, which will activate, send from the deck. And that's gonna be sending the mirror mage of the ice barrier, which when sent to the grave, it triggers to search your deck for an ice barrier card. So come to us, we're gonna grab the brand new Georgius Swordsman of the Ice Barrier. This mad lad is special summonable if you control an Ice Barrier, then it reborns an Ice Barrier from the graveyard, and I believe you could also summon it from your hand if you want instead. A level five or lower Ice Barrier, it's also a level six tuner. So let's do that, special summon, activate, reborn, and then we're now gonna be making the brand new, this will have an animation in Master Duel when it comes out, Lancia Ancestral Dragon of the Ice Mountain. This is the main boss monster for Ice Barrier. Once per chain, if your point special summons, you special summon an Ice Barrier from your hand, deck, extra deck, or graveyard, and then you can change an attack position monster to defense, and you can do this twice per turn. But its other effect is even cooler. If it leaves the field because of your opponent's card, that means Kaiju, card effect, battle, it's gonna activate to summon a Trushilla, which will banish a card from the hand, field, grave, or the other Trushilla, which could banish up to three cards on the field. So let's see what that does. Now we're gonna use the effect of the Mage of the Ice Barrier to tribute a monster to summon up to three tokens, and then it changes its level to level five, because we summon three. Then we're gonna make a Coral Dragon. Are you ready for this? We're gonna draw four. Four card draw off of this play. We're gonna use the little speaker for the Ice Barriers to summon another token onto the field. Now we're gonna use all the tokens plus a Coral Dragon. Let's say you held on to Ash Blossom, right? You can't ash the Croco Dragon. This will draw three, and we chain link block it with the Coral Dragon to draw a fourth card. Boom, draw four. So let's see what kind of disruptions we have with this field. They're gonna set up. Croco Dragon could discard two, pop any card in the field. Goodbye to that field spell. We have the D Lotus summoning the Spirit of Ubel. That's gonna trigger the Lancia to summon from the deck the General Raiho. Now, when your opponent resolves an activated monster effect, they must discard a card or the effect is negated. So even though it already activated and it's summoned on the field on chain link two, to resolve the spirit of Ubel, they have to discard a card and they have to keep on discarding every time they activate a monster effect on the field. So we're also changing his battle position. They discarded a Raigeki to resolve the effect to grab a Nightmare Pain. And then they chose to Raigeki us. Wipe our field, trigger the Ice Mountain to summon a Trushilla. Now, the Ice Mountain has to be activated on Chain Link 1, otherwise the Trushilla will miss the timing. It's gonna activate, banish from the hand, banish from the field, banish from the grave, wham bam, thank you ma'am. And now, what if we don't have that draw four combo? Let me show you another one real quick. So what if we have a Dark Magician instead of the other Ice Barrier? We're gonna discard it, summon the little frog, send from the deck the Ice Mage, which will be adding the Georges. Georges will special summon, reborn the mage. We're going to make the Ice Mountain again. And instead of the draw four combo, instead we're gonna draw one and make the Dragite. Dragite, spell and trap card negate, draw one mate. So even if we don't have the draw four combo, it's pretty still good. It's, I, I think it's great. Yes, spell and trap card negate. So they field spell, we negate, just like the Croco Dragon discard two to pop. We're going to get Raigekied, and this is the other Trushilla. When this card is synchro summoned, so it does miss the timing if it's not summoned on chain link one, this will banish up to three cards your opponent controls, non-target banish. Manish, the field. So there you go. 
Ice Barrier is here, and I guess I could bring up on the screen the newer Ice Barrier cards so you have a better uh, understanding of what exactly is coming out. So let's see. Ice Barrier, uh, I could show you some deck lists too. Ice Barrier filtered by release date. Uh, whoops, that's release, that's not release date, release date. So you have the new Ice Mountain, you have the brand new Georges, you have the new Mirror Mage, I guess uh, the traps, which I don't think are used as much. And uh, I mean, wait, those are pretty much the, the new cards again. <laughs> wait, just those three new cards pretty much? Okay, uh, and also the Frozen Domain. Now, how good is the deck? Is it top tier? In the TCG, it's a flop. It's flopping uh, big time. Well, the Mirror Mage is actually being used in Sprite in TCG because in Sprite, you could send the mage, grab the spell, reborn it, and then make it totally awesome, which is banned in Master Duel, so we can't do that in Master Duel. But in the OCG, uh, there's, there's some stats. It's not the best deck, but it's a fun deck. Here are some deck lists here. If you want to copy them, write them down, get ready for when the deck comes out. Top eight, they only have two super poly. We have three, so, if, and also what's really good in this deck is the Ice Jade Agarine. This is really good for making the instant Ice Mountain. You could also make the other level 10s. You could make the Agarine Synchro. You can make a Chang Ying. So those are also pretty cool. And with level eight Synchros, you can make a Gradle to pop cards in the field. That's something that you could do if you're going second. And with the Ice Mage, you could reborn it with the Anemone, tribute off the Anemone, and then you get the tokens to make your plays off of that. And here is the Ice Bear Breakdown. And there you go. Ice Bear is coming, get ready for it. And the two other decks I'll be leaking, I am very much also excited for.